Hello, welcome Gemini. Mm. Welcome to Magita Priestess or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber. Today I'm going to be doing your September reading, 2021. Okay. I'm seeing envy and the sea around you here. Yeah. Okay. So that kind of... <laughs> That literally goes with the message I have channeled for you here. There's some shocking news or something is going to be exposed. Please remember this is a general reading, Gemini. Um, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or uh, Mercury I'm hearing. Okay. And um, if the message doesn't resonate, let it go. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Okay. So what I have written for you here is um, Gemini, something is coming to light. Okay. We have envy already and it might be painful, okay? Because somebody in your life has been hiding their true intentions. That's the message I have written here for you. So I feel like there's an envy, this person around you or a group, okay? And it's coming to light. This is the storm, right? It's been, it's been like building up, right? This is like a tornado, something that it's building up over time. Somebody's about to be exposed here with the number 20 and 10. The year 2010 could be uh, significant in this time. This is what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Somebody has been trying to cause with magic here, I'm getting, cause storms into your life, cause heartbreak. Yeah, with this heart right here, cause heartbreak in your love life in your perhaps even your finances because she's holding pearls this could even be somebody that is doing better than you um in terms of finances but there's still something about you that they envy this could also be a karmic energy that's envious about a certain lover that you're dating this could be this person's ex your ex whoever this energy is okay this could be pertaining to love or this could be a friend foe family member i don't know we're gonna see but there's someone envy that the spirit is trying to expose to you this is the tower, right? So this is spirit closing out a cycle of revelation for you because this person has been really trying to cross, uh, cause havoc in your life, cause storms, a lot of changes. A lot has been, it's going to be revealed. I feel like a lot has already been revealed, but a lot more is going to be revealed because somebody is losing it. Okay, this envious person um, is losing it. Their emotions are all over the place. Okay, somebody is maybe even becoming crazy or yeah, this person, I feel like is not leaving their room. All they do is like plan and strategize about you. Okay, this is somebody that still has some sort of soul tied to you. They can't let you go. This could be emotional or physical. And yeah, they want to be the split image of you, I'm hearing. We have the magician. Um, this person has been practicing magic, even on your finances, okay, to stop your finances, cause havoc in your life, okay? They're, I'm also getting with all these storms that are happening on around the world right now. There's so many storms, especially here like New York and New Jersey, our train stations and everything like that. But I know that there's many other places in the world that there's been hurricanes. So hur you could have just experienced a hurricane where you're at and lost your home because somebody's like kind of laughing at this. I'm seeing somebody laughing like, ha, 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 ha. Like this is exactly what I manifested for you to lose something. It's like something's breaking or something. Someone wants to break something. I'm hearing a flood here. So there's like a rebirth, a cycle ending. The spirit is cleansing all these negative energy around you. It's like this tornado is about to remove all the envy that's around you, right? And clean shit up. Wow, I never heard of that before. So yeah, let's see what's coming to light. Like I said, it might be painful to find out who's this person that's envious around you. But this person doesn't have the highest intentions for you, Gemini. So let's see. All right, Spirit, who is this person for my Geminis that we're speaking about? Give me one more card and then we'll head into... Okay, Spirit is saying that whoever this person is, you know intuitively as well. This could unfortunately hurt you because this is somebody that you love dearly, like someone that you helped so much in your life. You care so much about this person. Again, it could be a lover, friend, um, foe, or family member, whoever it is, somebody close to you who you really, really loved. Okay, and you're kind of like sad, you know, there's, this is like causing a lot of anger in you as well, as even you're, I feel like you're, you Gemini could be this very empathetic, right? I feel like you're an earth angel or you're an empath, 
and people are trying to take you out of your zone because I feel like you're just chill and you don't give a shit about the energy that people try to send around you, right? Look at you peacefully here around love. Your aura vibrates at a very high level here, Gemini, right? You vibrate on the energy of love. And people envy this, that no matter how much you have or how little you have, you're still in this great energy. I'm getting like that SpongeBob SquarePants kind of energy. Like you're always just like optimistic and positive, no matter like the storms that are around you, you still show love to people. Um, you could be some type of humanitarian that likes to travel around the world and bring love into like people that have lost everything or hurricanes or something like that, right? That's for somebody out there very specific. But Spirit is saying you need to walk away from this person I'm also getting a place. You, you, you even maybe even needing to relocate because your heart is too pure and gentle for this envious energy. This person is nothing like you and they may just be envious of how much angelic connection you have with your angels, how much love is in your heart, your tenderness, your kindness. And somebody wants to tick you off, right? They're trying to take you out of your, what is that called? Out of your zone, out of your, they're just trying to take you out of that energy that you're in, that high frequency. Spirit is saying, walk away before this storm for others of you spirit is saying nobody's going to be able to walk away from this storm here okay this person may be trying to run away and walk away but it won't and this is very soon with adjacent possibility so this could be in this beginning of september here i'm also getting 27 or 24 of september could be very significant or the 10th okay yeah make sure that you get rests Okay, and you, you rejuvenate and you connect to that higher power, to your angels, to your guides, okay? Because some of you may need to rest. There's just been too much revelations, too much chaos in your life, too many storms. Um, yeah, you're getting a lot of downloads. That's what's happening in your dreams. Spirit is giving it to you. You could be having dreams with thunders or storms or seeing faces of people that you're just like, no way that this person is envious of me, you know? This person is so loving. This is somebody that may even act so loving and it's fake. This person's fake. Okay. They may act like an angel, but they're not. It's also what I'm getting here. So pay attention to your dreams or when you meditate or when you're very in like that calm state because you're getting a lot of downloads. I see a lot of pages coming here. Yeah. Especially about a storm coming. All right. If this hasn't already happened, I'm also getting like this person can't rest right? They can't rest. There's a storm inside of their heart and they're not at peace like you are. You're, you're always at peace here. You know how to bring that balance into your life. The sun, I told you, you're this very optimistic beam of light. You bring love, light into the world. You could be some sort of earth angel light worker here watching Gemini. You're very creative. You have a lot of love to give. Look at this ace of cups here. You have so much love to give. People literally feel like you're an angel of love. Like all you give is love to people. And somebody just trying to either take that energy from you or they just hate. They feel like you're fake at times even. With the sun, it is being illuminated because it felt right under the storm. So something is going to be illuminated. Something's being illuminated. Spirit is revealing to you your enemies at this time. Deceit and victory. What? You're about to have victories over these motherfuckers. It don't matter because you're in this vibration of love, Gemini, you are literally about to move away. OK, spirit is also with the storm and this flood. I told you spirit is literally moving, removing all these envious entities and people in order to bring you this happiness. OK, I feel like you're manifesting some sort of wealth, victory and success in your life. And spirit is trying to tell you, hey, listen, these people can't come with you. They can't sit at your table. They cannot come with you. You're about to go somewhere of happiness, of success, because you're doing something that you love or something that's very connected to your heart. You're very creative. This could be music. This could be writing a book, okay? Doing some type of writing, doing some sort of painting or digital art. Um, this could be music here, an instrument, or you having a baby, or you. there's something that you're giving birth to literally or symbolically here and someone is either planning to take your money or has been taking your energy with this light yeah i'm getting like somebody is an energy vampire here they have been like taking off your energy because you're a golden child here you're meant for victory and success in this life you're meant to show the world what love is right you could be in the public eye or about to be 
this is that big storm, some big change is coming. And I feel like the envious people around you can feel it. They could, they could be the one getting downloads as they rest here, okay? Trying to connect to their dark spirits with this seat here. Somebody has been taking from your light and now trying to take off your money. And we have the cancer sign here, the moon. There's a lot of shit you don't know that's hidden behind you. Some people could be paying other people to set you up or to do tarot readings on you. Someone is attacking your sacral chakra here. Somebody also could be doing some magic here because I feel like they don't want you to have a baby if you're a woman watching. Someone is doing some sort of sex magic on you or sacral chakra here to block you from having kids. That's a very specific message for someone out there. I feel like this person is traveling like some sort of third world country to do some black magic. That was very specific. Again, it won't resonate with everybody. But clearly, right, this person doesn't have the best intentions for you. And we did have something coming to light. We already have the sun coming to light. And it's fair to say, do not worry. You're going to have victory. Somebody has been trying to tamper with your success and your love life as well. You could also be just having starting a new connection here. And you told somebody about this and they're envious. OK. It's fair to say, this is somebody that whoever this is going to be revealed, this is somebody that you can't even imagine. I'm also hearing like you won't even imagine. That's why it's going to be painful. Clarify envy here for Gemini. Regeneration. Somebody is envying that you're flourishing and that you you're doing some sort of healing within yourself. You're changing something. You're being regenerated by the universe with the storm. Somebody is envious that no matter how much chaos is in your life and transformations, you always grow from them. It's a rebirth. It's like you always come out on top. You always come out successful. You come out even more creative, brighter, stronger. And I feel like with the sun next to the sea, it's like you're this person's source of light. And you took a break from this person. So ever since then, I'm getting this like mirror magic. Somebody just feeling very angry um, for sure. And with regeneration... This person hates who, who you are now. Maybe they're still judging you for the past you and they can't stand that <laughs> you moved away from these people. They can't stand who you are anymore and how protected you are. This could be a male for some of you or a female that is in that male energy. Look at that. All that glitters ain't gold. This person is fake, deceitful, a trickster. They've been wearing a mask and there is some treasure that's actually coming here. Spirit is saying if this is a lover... Or a friend, whatever. Spirit is bringing you your actual tribe, okay? People that actually will treasure you and are not going to put up a front here. These people are materialistic. Oh, they, they've been with you in your whole life for your money, for your success, trying to be in your light, okay? This is somebody that's trying to dim your light. They hate that you shine brighter than them because this is something that's in your destiny. Obviously, it's not like you're cocky and you try. This is just who you are. And somebody's wearing a mask and this mask is going to be exposed. That's why you're being regenerated at this time. That's why spirit is saying, look, take a break. Take this healing. Reconnect with yourself and pray a lot. Some of you guys need to start connecting with your higher selves and pray a lot here in order for you to get this access, not just through this reading, but it's like the faces. Spirit is trying to give you the faces here. These people are just... They're just money hungry. Deceitful. Look at this. They're just trying to steal your money here or your energy. Money is also energy here, right? And so we have to be fair. The justice. You're getting justice. And I'm also getting here like there's some sort of abundance and money coming towards you here. And with these two masks, it could definitely be two people, not just one person. Why am I shuffling without asking here? It could be somebody in your home. Okay, so yeah, there's an envious person here that's wearing a mask, right? Clarify the seat here for Gemini. Ooh, okay, so round and round. Um, Spirit is saying you've had many past lives with this person, many cycles. And it's like, this could be somebody that it was hard to close out a cycle with because you could have had some sort of soul tie with this person, okay? So do some sort of soul tie ritual where you release and you bring back your energy. Spirit is saying bring back your energy because you've given a lot of your energy to people here. Um, that obviously were not of love and light <laughs> as you. You're literally the highest vibrational being here and this person is holding you back. So this is, this, this, you need to see this, okay? And round and round, I'm also getting like this person, all they do is like plot and think about how to deceive you. You're always on this person's mind. They could be trying to attack your mental state 
kind of leave you. Somebody here is planning and thinking how to leave you with nothing orphaned here. Okay, how to leave you with nothing. Take your milk and honey. It's like you have some sort of success coming towards you or you have some type of money. Could be buying a new home. Somebody wants something. Wow, we have 25 clarifying 25. So Google the number 2525 to see what that means. Comment down below if somebody wants to so the whole community could see it. But what I'm also getting here is this person could be 25 as a symbol here. 77, okay, is also that number as well, which is like the seven of swords, right? Wow, 25 and 25. Comment down below, guys. I want to know what that number means. I'm also getting that Judas energy, like somebody is just waiting to betray you. This is somebody that will sell you out for money. Any money is giving to this person, they'll just sell you out. We have Breathe, which is right there um, next to the Rejuvenate, the same card here. Round and round. This person can't breathe without you is what I'm getting here. Um, this person, like I said, they're trying to cause chaos in your life. You are at peace with yourself. You, you could be a yoga instructor, some sort of spiritual being here right you like i said something with meditation this could also be somebody that you meditated with or met in a yoga class or something like that for someone out there a yoga instructor this could be somebody that's always telling you like yeah breathe let's do a thing but in behind the the, the this mask right they actually want to act like they're all peaceful they're loving but they're not so spirit wants to reveal that to you but i also feel like Somebody can't breathe here. They're just always thinking about you round and round and round and round and round and round and round. Breathe. The seat. Somebody wants to stop your breathing? What the fuck? I'm also getting here. If you guys paid like some sort of teacher or yoga instructor or something like that. I'm getting Kundalini yoga here. Um, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If you like are taking someone, this person is just taking your money. This person is envious of the power and the connection that you have with your ancestors and the universe. That's for some of you here. I feel like there's something here with meditation and this person trying to steal that. All right. Hi, Gemini. So basically, as you guys see, I did a lot more of the reading and my phone died. It stopped recording. I thought that was funny because obviously I'm talking about this envious energy that's around you. They really didn't want this information to come through. So please bear with me because I already added like a couple cards. I'm actually pretty upset because there was so much specific messages coming through. I'm just going to kind of go through with it. All right. And just kind of take what it is because I'm even feeling a little drained myself. I think the last card here that we have was Breathe. I'm not really sure. I kind of went back to the old video a little bit. So, yeah. Let me see what we have here. Um, so, like I said, there's somebody that is constantly thinking about you and plotting against you. And they're just obsessed, constantly thinking about you and how to take your light, how to dim your light like an energy vampire, right? How to suck your energy, take your energy. Um Spirit has been definitely protecting you at this time, right? Because something is shifting. Karma is, is working in your favor. And so Spirit is trying to tell you, Gemini, like you need to move away from certain individuals at this time as you are elevating to your Empress energy here, okay? Yeah, like I said, this could be a mom that could be hating on you because you're young and beautiful. Or you could just be... Like, you know, around your 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, but you look young, like you're in your 20s or like you're 18 or something like that. Somebody could be jealous of your beauty, your abundance, that you're the full package, okay? Somebody is trying to tamper with your destiny here. Spirit is saying, take a deep breath, all right? Um, Because you could be overworking and somebody might not be paying you enough here. Um, Yeah, so let me slow down because I'm so mad. It was like 20 minutes of a, of another part here. So, yeah, like I said, some of you guys may be dealing with something like in the court system. Like I said, you could have um, lost somebody here, right? So there was a grandparent or grandmother coming through that um, I feel like they're going to give you or send you somebody that's going to give you some sort of unexpected money. Or I feel like this person passed away 
in your community, in your family, right? And they left you some some money behind after they passed away. It could have been a Scorpio. And they left you some money, okay? Because they see how hard you work. Um, they know that you're the responsible one in the family. And um, I feel like you felt alone and abandoned here or this person that's trying to attack you and is envious. <clears throat> they thought that you were going to be broke and in poverty, but there's this abundance that's coming towards you. I'm also getting here like some of you guys could be bailing someone out very soon. Let me move this camera like this a little bit. Yeah, you could have bailed somebody out or this could be somebody that, that, that yeah, that you bailed out, that you helped out in the, in the past. With this grandparent, okay, the details that came through was 3939, okay? Make sure you Google the number 3939 um, because there's something about a reincarnation happening with a grandparent or a grandpa, or grandpa that you lost this year. Could have been 39 days ago, 19 or 9 days ago. It's the specific that I got here. I also got 8 years ago. There's this new life. There's They're reincarnating in, if you're pregnant. Okay, they're, they're, if you believe in that, right? Because I do, so you don't got to write down some nasty comments or something. But if you're watching the spiritual thing, you kind of believe in that, right? So there's a reincarnation here with a grandparent that passed away. They're going to be born a new life, whether this is through a child that you're going to have or uh, someone in your community that you're going to meet. Okay, this is a time for you guys to meet your community, to meet your tribe. You guys have a lot of ancestors and spiritual beings that are trying to bring you new beginnings and are trying to take you out of these burdens that you always feel you have to carry here, Gemini. Okay, I feel like you're also leaving this poverty. You could have lost your job. Somebody could have burned your house. I'm getting here or try to cause poverty into your life. Or maybe there were places that weren't hiring. But now I see you guys having so much money, okay, enough to be able to give back to people. Now, these people are a person that is envious of you, someone that you've given your energy to. And they were just energy vampires, somebody that you gave, let's say, $100 to and they gave you back a penny right it wasn't balanced it was not a balanced relationship friendship whatever it was this person might also like um every money that you gave them like they they could have lied about the amount that you gave them or something like that i don't know however um clarifying the envy card we had the seven of swords right that's already somebody that is stealing from you wants something from you hates you despises you envies you is jealous this is somebody that's very jealous and envious around you confirm here gemini that someone's holding a secret from you some sort of trickstery here with the five of swords again this is somebody that is competing with you could be an air sign like you libra even here but somebody is competing with you heavy libra energy by the way competing with you and i'm hearing this is in your own home okay we had it clarified the uh, Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So with that information I was getting here, somebody is literally trying to be the exact image of you, copy your every move, they're watching you. For others of you I'm getting here, this is somebody that's trying to manipulate you, trying to be your friend, trying to act like they're somebody of peace, of love, um, trying to be your equal, but they're not. Okay, this person is not your equal at all. Spirit is saying here, all that glitters ain't gold. Okay, so this person is not who you thought they were. This is just a money-hungry individual that is very jealous of this regeneration that's being brought into your life, this new way of being. You're going through a transformation. The old you is dead and gone. And so this person is trying to find out what you're doing, gossip, copy you, what's behind the scenes, spying on you, okay? Doing love spells on you, money spells to stop this inheritance coming in and the four of wands. Okay, it's like this person doesn't want you to marry. They could be in competition to see who goes into marriage first, like I was saying in the last video. This, If you are already married here, Gemini, this person is trying to steal your lover, your husband, your wife. This person is trying to cause havoc in your life and in your finances and in your partnerships here. I'm also getting here, this individual is someone that you love very much, very, very much. And this is why it's going to hurt you because this could actually be your family, somebody that you grew up with, that you build something with. I'm also getting here, somebody's trying to steal your money because you're about to get some sort of inheritance money from this grandparent that passed away here. Somebody in your community that passed away, right? Somebody old here. And I felt like um, it could also have been somebody that left you with a child for some of you, okay? I feel like you're getting some type of money, some type of victory, and somebody is trying to sell, sabotage this, okay? I'm also getting that somebody, this person who's envious of you, Gemini, is trying to bring an end to you. This is somebody that is very dark and 
it's kind of like misery loves company they want to see you down too but instead they see you flourishing this with the sun um spirit is going to continue to reveal you the truth but this person wasn't honest with you they were gossiping about you um one, once you turn your back this person would immediately talk shit about you to your friends to your lover this is somebody that was spreading lies to your husband as well to to, to end your marriage if you were already married or somebody that's doing spell work here so that you never marry or never settle down okay we have the judgment so um this could be a past lover that's trying to reconcile somebody that you were married to that cheated on you and stole from you and manipulated you and caused you so much pain left you abandoned here however spirit brought judgment to this person whether it's a family member lover or friend and there it's backfiring whatever they did to you it's backfiring and I'll show you the other cards that are confirming that. However, I am getting here that there is a new life. There is a new beginning coming towards you. You guys are about to have some victory that's going to bring in the community, the right people in your life. Okay? The people that belong with you, not these fake-ass motherfuckers that are here. Okay? Um. So, yeah, somebody could have also been stealing from you a lot or living with somebody that you've been living with and were taking your money because you have a lot of money and this person probably doesn't. Take the message how it resonates, though, okay? The Ten of Pentacles speaks of family, so does the Four of Wands. That's why I got heavy family, whether it's somebody that you're married to or somebody that you grew up with. All right? But again, I also got that energy earlier. I don't know if it's in, in video one. But it's like you're getting some sort of justice here through the law. Somebody is trying to, like, um, with whatever inheritance is being left behind, if that message resonates with you, I feel like you're going to have to take somebody to court or somebody wants to take you to court because they want some of this money. Okay? Um, or you may have to take somebody for you to see a lawyer. But I'm getting here that like um, like I, I said earlier, somebody may be trying to do some spell work here. So you don't have a kid. This could be your own mother. So you don't have a child. Somebody's trying to tamper with your energy. But it's like your ancestors are always protecting you here, defending you and bringing you justice. Like karma, these people, instant karma. As soon as they fuck with you, it's like you're only going to get more blessed and better here. And this could be somebody that was toxic in your life. And you were married to this person, okay? This is also what I'm getting here. They could want a new beginning with you. And so spirit is kind of telling you this signs. Like, remember, you're not taking this person back. Also, I feel like this person could have ended you in somewhere or another in the past. But spirit resurrected you. And this person is mad, okay, of who the person you're becoming. All right, so what else did we have? So we have here completion. Let me start actually with this one. So we have competition magic right somebody close to you is competing with you and um that's the motivation for everything they do so you motivate this person right we also have marine so they're putting sacrifices could be a, a pisces here cancer scorpio doing this but this person is like they're trying to copy you compete with you they're doing magic to compete with you like i said this is somebody that could be trying to marry first or something about like settling down wealth um family longevity all right Someone's taking offerings here. Somebody's working with spirits here. We have love spell. This person is casting love spells on you. Like I said, this could be an ex-lover who is trying to compete with a new lover that you may have. But we have backfire, Gemini. Dark energy sent your way will be turned back against you. It will be a failed attempt. Okay, spirit has your back. Because somebody has been trying to literally put an ending to all of you and have you like this. And they're spying on you through tarot readers, through YouTube, whatever. They're spying on you because you could be in the public eye. They're trying to drain your energy. However, I feel like you've done some cleaning work, okay? Whatever it is, the energy work done against you is done. It's over. The spell has been broken. So no matter what, there was instant karma. It was backfire. The spell was broken. Your ancestors heavily here did not allow that shit. So you had this victory. It was a spiritual victory. You had an angel here of love that's protecting you. And I feel like Again, it could be a grandparent, but it could also be a child for others of you. A child that you lost here when you were 37 or something like that, I'm getting. 29. I also have here block removing. Whatever was holding you back has been removed, okay? So whatever was holding you back, there's a completion here. There's a cycle closing. It's being removed. You don't have this anymore. This person can't harm you because it's backfiring. It's a failed attempt. And the cards that we also had here for, as your advice was self-worth and the sea and chaos so this person's trying to cause chaos in your life there's going to be a lot of unstoppable movement this person can't stop this and you can't stop this revelation from happening your life may feel like it's chaotic in september but let all the uh fake masks come off 
there's a mask that's going to come off of this person or people around you and you're going to finally know your self-worth and you're going to finally set boundaries from these individuals and not just open your heart with them okay because somebody is trying to they see how compassionate how loving you are and they just can't stand you they're in denial of this loving person that you are they think that it's fake the way that you are because they are okay and so you could be feeling ghost around your room or something again it could be some sort of sex spell being done here but whatever this the sea is going to be revealed there's no stopping this also i forgot to mention if i didn't in the first video because again the whole recording thing um right down below there was a number that came through 2525 uh, google that angel number and 3939 comment down below peace out gemini